previously on Kung Fu Maintenance, I showed you how to take out One Direction screw heads using a Dremel tool. And it's going to cut in a groove. If you wanted to, you could click over here to watch that video. It shows a bit more about how to change the blades on the Dremel tool. Postal lock is on the back side of the cover here, and it keeps the key from being able to be turned. Once it's turned past the lock, the bolt keeps it from being able to turn back, and thereby keeping the key from being able to remove. The postal company can come and turn the lock, which moves the bolt down and allows the latch to clear in the postal lock, and then the key can be pulled back out. So it's a captive key. back which will give a little tension on the door. Now, on this particular door there was a small piece on the side that was broken off which is, isn't vital to the operation of the door uh, but if that piece was in place you'd have to slide the, the latch mechanism into that piece first. Not a big deal I just thought you should know because as you're setting this it won't set properly unless you put that anchor side of the latch into the hole, into the slotted groove first, and then put your locking washer in that one. Here I'm going to use the new locking washer and nut, mostly because they are for sure going to match up with the threads of the new mailbox lock. I could have used the old uh, locking nut, it was a little bit different style. Uh, it was all one piece having a plastic uh, insert inside the metal portion of the nut, but both of them perform the same function, they're a locking nut. But here, to make sure that the threads and everything lined up, I went with using the new mailbox locks, locking washer and nut. Here I'm making sure the operation is as it should be. And then here you can see the postal locks. The postal lock, I'm setting it back in place, anchoring it behind, and now the key will be able to turn down. I reset the screws. Everything's good to go. Thank you. 